episode 61 of Snog Radio's Retro Lounge. And um, this week we're playing games featuring Asterisk and Obelix. And all through the tonight's show I'm going to be saying Asterisk. I am an Obelisk. I'll have to be careful. Get out. <coughs> Get teeth in. Um, yes. Famous uh, Viking... Uh, protagonists always fighting the Romans mostly um, with a, a whole bunch of humorous names that we may get to as we travel through the world of um, Asterix and Obelix so we're going to play uh, uh, <laughs> alphabetically by system which means we're starting with Atari now there's an Atari 2600 game called Obelix um, and I know he's not the hero and he's, he's, he's featuring in some of the games but he's not the hero of any of the other games but he is of this one so let's um, get over to the uh, the little arcade cube and um, let's take a look shall we there he is already there he is. Let's just make sure he's the right size for the screen. Looks pretty good. Um, as always, never played any of these games. Don't know what to expect, even. Um, I'm sure there's going to be walk from left to right and jump over things and bounce things. But who knows what we're going to get. Uh, but as I say, we're starting with Obelix. Asterix, Asterix's fat chum. Oh, what have we got? So, okay, so we've got Obelix along the top. Oh, we're going to be doing this again, are we? It's been a while. No, your game controllers don't work anymore. Let's have a look. It's difficult to blame my pad if it's not working, isn't it? Can't have that. There we go. Right, so. Right, so we control asterisk. Okay, so Obelix goes across the top. Don't know what asterisk does though. Odyssey beat the guards. It's, no, so that's not doing anything. So, can I... Oh, I don't know. Right. So, Asterisk does something. So, when they're white, then, can I... Ah, okay. Oh. Ooh. Alright. Proper confusing. So, let's dump her... Right, so if the purple... It doesn't work. Oh, oh, sod off. But I can't move asterisks up and down. Okay, so I can't pick that up either. Oh, oh, now I'm confused. Right, so ast Asterix only moves left and right. Like that. What if he goes off the side? No, he can't go off the side even. So you squash him with a big block, and then what? <laughs> oh! Whoa! Okay. So, obviously, we had get a fix going across the top then. I don't know how to get to the end of the levels, though. Okay, so let's... So, I feel like I should be picking up letters. But I can't pick them up either. And do I have to oblix them? One of a better expression. OK. 
Okay, so Asterix can't touch them when they're light purple, but can... Okay. Oh, I dropped it too early. So I can't drop anything on him. And now he's going to hoof me. But I can't pick them up. And he turns purple again too quick before I can drop another obelix on him. Right, and that didn't do anything even if I did. Okay. Wow. So... You'd think I'd be able to move up and down. <laughs> oh, oh, what happened then? How did how did that happen? Oh, okay. Ah, right, right. So, I oh, can't control this drop. Oh, turds. Ooh. Oh, well. <laughs> um, Uh, yes, chat room, I did drop the stone on myself. Yes, very true. Um... So, do I have to clear one of each level? Oh, 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 can't get it to cook enough. Oh, tits. Love to know what that does, though. Obelix myself. Yes, I see. So, the point of the game is to, to get points. It's not to clear as many men or to spell anything or anything like that. It's just to get points. Okay. Well, there we go. That was um, Obelix on the um, the Atari 2600. Right, now we're going to move into a selection of Game Boy games. So all these on the Game Boy. I haven't checked whether the Game Boy or Game Boy Color. Um, but we're going to... Uh, there's so many of them that we need to switch to our Game Boy screen. Whoop. There we go. And we're going to have a look at the first of our games tonight called, just called Asterisk, Asterix. Yeah, I nearly did it. Um, so the only problem when they're all called the same thing is I'm never sure if I've got the right one. That looks right. Okay. Why is it so big? There we 
go. Okay, let's see what we've got. Oh, it, this is this is the the Game Boy screen that doesn't sit right in the screen. Um, and I don't know why that is. Let's make it a tiny bit smaller, and it won't matter as much. There we go. Ah, très bien. Ah, uh, Obelix has vanished. Oh no. Dromans have confirmed his capture, taken him to an unknown destination. Track them down and find Obelix before Caesar throws him to the lions. The poor things. Um, just want to check we oh, we're all right with the game audio. It's at a decent level for you, chat room. I run from one side to the other and to avoid obstacles, is it? Ooh. Wow, he's a fast pig. Right, why can't I hit them? They've got letters on, why have they got letters on? Let us on for a reason, surely. Ah, punch the shit out of him. Gotcha. Oh, a bonus level. Did that? I'm, I'm sure it didn't. I'm sure it said something else, but I'll need to punch something else to find out. See, how do you punch them? Ah. say oh there's a hole there I thought it was just a different coloured grass I'm sure that when he punches people it says fap and I'm, I'm sure he can maybe it says whap why did I avoid that hole the first time and now I can't seem to avoid it this time? What the effort, Jeff? Ah, it says path. The, the reverse of fap, as it turns out. Oh, let's have another go. Uh, we had to lose one of our games um, when I checked it earlier on. It wouldn't start as a file missing. So there'll be no PlayStation for us tonight. Um, does mean each game gets a little longer. Uh, and gets more time. If we want to. But obviously we can not have more time on it. Um, if it's shit.
don't stop very quick when you stop moving him. Golden Star. Oh, I can ride a pig. Oh, what happened there? I was on that spike for so long that I thought, oh, no problem, I can make that. Well, I'm not sure how far behind the chat room is, but... Can't make that jump from there. For frick's sake. He's got some inertia on him. Oh, fnard at the pig riding. I'll keep trying that. What a stupid idea. Gotcha. Not that far behind them. It's nothing like. We've got an easy option. Let's see if there's how much difference there right is in um, no pig. Raw. Need to get that some extra life. Oh, we get so much further on easy. He said optimistically. Oh. I wasn't even looking at the floor. I was looking at the Kirby-esque hills that I had to jump on. Can 
Can I make that from there, do you reckon? What do you think after? Oh, what was the point? What was the point? No point. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> oh dear. No, don't just run off, you knobhead. Oh, look at that, there was an option to end. Okay, that was number one. The first game called Asterix. We'll be meeting a single game, a game with a single title of Asterix again when we move to the Master System. But for now, let's move on to Asterix and Obelix versus Caesar. And uh, let me get you a screen. Versus Caesar. There we go. Party. Um, Game Boy Color. So there we go. Let's uh, get it into English. Oh, that's not how I remember Caesar looking. It's not going to be in foreign. Although, Asterix was originally French. Um, I'm fairly certain that we used to use Asterix books to learn French in school. Oh, oh, whoa, this is, this is Asterix and Obelix versus Caesar, the film, the game of the film. Sounds a bit quiet to me, I don't know about you guys. Probably be really irritating, but... Okay, what do we think this game is then? Hit 30 fish. So I have two, two buttons and they both Uh, don't hit anything else by the looks of it. Oh, referee, come on. Oh! <sighs> Try again. This is horrible. Every fish I get, something else hits me. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, oh, I could punch them into the bard's face. Nice. I punched that fish. Oh! Bastard. Came straight at me, that one. What a game, Whacker Fish. That's correct, Nutty Cluster. It is indeed. Round one is indeed Whacker Fish. That wasn't even a fish. It straight away got me in the face. Oh! <sighs> I wonder if 
it's a safe place where the music notes don't get you. We're not going to be playing this for very long, you know. I think we're going to find out before so long that it's got a scratch. fish where music notes are. How irritating. Come on, I must have hit 30 by now. Jesus. Unless it's putting me right back at the start for everyone there, every time I die. Oh, what a bag of shite. That gets this, this for me. Oh dear. It's horrible looking and everything. I'm stunned by how shite it is. Um, all right, let's just try one that's just called Asterix and Obelix, shall we? Let's F off the, um, the versus Caesar part. Is it the only one called that? It looks like it, doesn't it? Oh, well, it's the title on the emulator is called Asterix and Obelix, as you can see by the the menu, but that just looked like uh, Obelix. Oh, were you enjoying that Nutty Cluster? That was, that was just, that was horrible, that game. What is the matter with you? What's going on here? Oh, I've got a big fence. Wow, well, we're going around every country ever. You know what, I'm going to check the options first. Oh, hey, there's an easy option. If there's ever an easy option, you should take it. Life hack. Is the Asterix show? I think we should play Asterix first. We'll perhaps have a go with Obelix in a bit. writing got to go to the Tower of London and we do that by running from the left of the screen to the right of the screen and collecting things oh maybe even riding a pig right this this is a very similar game then isn't it yes we still path things 
I'm going to have to um, path that. Biff, buff, buff. Oh, I can't get up there now. I could get up there before, I'm sure I could. He needed a couple of paths. See, I'm on there. Look. Can get on there. Can't ride these pigs. You can path them though. Oh, the beat! They're ganging up on me now. Not fair. Remember that password if you want to play Act 2. It's a halt! <sighs> Apparently I'm not a very good jumper. Oh, he needs a lot of puffing. I don't get on there if there's a ladder that I should be going down. Come on, you puffer. There you go. Path, path, path. Um, why can't I get down that ladder? There we go. Was that hole a hole? Oh, with the members of the chat room, I, I don't want to answer that. Really? Feels like a loaded question. Oh. Be nice if it stopped dropping blocks on me. Oh, those spearmen are so irritating. I can't path him while I'm... Be able to get that down, wouldn't you? Once I've climbed up here. So when I path you, stay pathed. Have to 
keep moving, I'll get you. Wow! It's quite irritating. Alright, let's have a go as uh, Obelix then, shall we? We're not going to go down that hole. Not today. Is it going to be one of those where every screen you travel underground is three screens above? Or something stupid like that. the man. Oh, look at that, it's a big path box. Did I get a uh-uh because -uh, I did something wrong? Did I not collect enough stars? See, that looks like it should be set onable, jump onable. say am I boring you to me after your face later earlier on this afternoon just, we just get tired don't we it's tiring I should be using this to climb up, up, should I? Or maybe not that one. But maybe that one, how do I, how am I supposed to get out of that jacket? Is it a double jump? No, nope. one jump, no. Nope. I'm missing that. Right, I can't jump on that block, so I'm just gonna have to puff it. Can I? Is this one of these stupid games where I should go in the doors? Nope, it's not a Smurfs debacle again. Ooh, that was 
was close. I was so close that I'm dead. Right, how did I open that door just then? There we go. There's some special move. I guess he's one of ours. Nope, is it up and punch, down and punch? Nope. Does it just keep pressing the button till you're in the right place? Oh, I can't open these now. What's going on? Long hold. I could probably leave this one because I don't think there's one in there. It's, yeah, I was going to say, I think it's just a bad guy. Hey, let me get up the stairs at least. Roman scum. Everybody gets out free today. Oh, maybe he doesn't. Because it's a time thing and I didn't notice the clock. No. Well, that's because I spent too much time learning how to bloody punch these doors in. Right. Oh, what? Come on. Some of these are other. No, they're not. Start wearing purple, wearing purple. Doesn't like me not collecting enough stars, does it? Oh, what now? I need to go a bit further before I press the button, don't I? different each time then. I don't really understand what I'm doing. I'm not scoring any points here, am I? Right. Okay, tits. The 
there must be a clue of whether I'm getting Still not enough. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, press the wrong button. Oh, well. Yes. Indeed, Naughty Cluster, a bit of everything in that game. <coughs> there you go, that was. Um, well, it was, in some countries, Asterix and Obelix, but as you just saw then on the title screen, it's just called Obelix. Um, and now our final uh, Game Boy, before we move into the Master System. And... It's Asterix Search for Dogmatics. So, one would assume that um, Asterix's dog's gone missing. Adventure mode or instant fun mode? Oh, can't resist a mode that's called that. Why? Why is it called that? Do we think? Oh, it's. Oh, okay, okay. So we can't play them. We can only play two things. Let's see. Oh, memory game then. Instant fun does promise a lot. More than it can deliver, uh, in my humble estimation. This one does then. Oh, oh. Press the wrong button. What happened? adventure mode instant fun no no instant fun at all instant death mode correct what's the go button come on Oh, that's just to change character, so do we press start now? Oh, I see. Well, let's play the in then. Mini game levels and four scroll levels can be replayed in the instant fun. Well, that's nice. So are we playing, I mean, look, I do understand that the mode is called Adventure Mode, but are we actually playing uh, an adventure? It looks like it, doesn't it? Oh, F off. 
Oh. Okay, let's do it. Fight your way through level. Feels quite familiar, does it not? Yes, we're walking from left to right and we're pathing people. And it's not even the first of May. Oh, we can't puff that pig. Timing with him. Come on, that must be somewhat for me. Really, is it just a stepping stone? Go in these then. You can't jump over them either. Need three keys to get there. Disappointing. Do we need to go to the end? We don't need to go to the end, do we? And yeah, I press the button to go to the end. So are these the only two? Oh, all right. Run for your life. Okay. Now we know how to play the mini game. And we got a key. Two. Okay, so we've got two keys. That's locked. Had the key for that. One assumes we have to finish this one then to um, get a key. in the chops.
how am I gonna get him then? Got to be stand honourable for a reason. Damaging him, I feel like every now and again I get a hit in. Like that. Just for two coins. Garnet. Oh, well, do you think we've played enough game? I mean, we're nearly, nearly halfway through the show, and it's all been Game Boy mostly, except for the Atari. Uh, uh, executive decision made. Yes, yes, indeed. We are moving to the Sega Master System. And we're going to play our second game that's just called Asterix. So now that we've closed one of them, it should be easy to find the other one, shouldn't it? Whoop. Um, and also, we're not playing a Game Boy anymore. So let's move back to our big retro telly. And embiggen the screen so we can see it. Okay, so, asterisk on the master system, eh? Let's find out what we've got. Well, I'm pressing the start button. Well, play as Asterix again. Oh, we have to rescue Getafix from the Romans. Oh, it looks a little cuter on the Master System. But I think we're essentially playing the same game. Let's find out, shall we? Oh, could be wrong. I mean, I'm not. It's essentially the same game. Oh, I felt I could go down that then. Not sure why I'm collecting boats. Oh, hang on. Oh, I could have gone down that last well, couldn't I? Nearly had me though, didn't it? Wow. Oh, do we play? Oh, right, okay. Oh, did I pick two players? No, no. Okay. 
Okay. Perhaps I should have obelixed first to go. I don't know. I can't go down there. and having to do all these again. Can go down that one though. Oh! Oh, oh, that wasn't fair. Feel it's a little quiet. How do I get down there, do you reckon? Or is that a move that only Asterix can do? Whoa, whoa! Oh, he just dropped off there! His frickin' inertia just kept him moving. Bastard. Oh, 
Oh no. I almost... Oh, I see. Okay. Really sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Eh? So, okay, we're doing round two, and I can choose, I can choose to be Asterix or Obelix. So, is there a difference? No, no, I'm sinking. Why am I sinking? Why am I sinking? Can't get back in the... Can't get back out. Oh, yeah, I can. But what was the point? Lots of jumps, that's what you have to do. How am I gonna get out this side? Car, car, car. Oh, 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 no, bastard. So, do I have to. Okay, well we've done a few uh, we've done a few levels on it, so um, so that was Asterix. Now we're staying with the Master System this time, as we play Asterisk, Asterix, and the Great Rescue. So, how much money do we think that um, it's going to be? A similar game 
What do we what do we reckon? Similar game, maybe? Let us uh, find out. Oh! Okay. Alright, we're on difficulty easy. That's what we like to see. Okay, so... Oh! So when I press the button, he punches after I let go of the button. Oh, well. Some dinner at this rate. Well, shit. Do they come back if I walk away and come back? They do. Oh, sod off. It's going to be a pain in the ass, isn't it? Just jump into the flames. Okay. Oh. Oh, shite. Games, is it? Ugh. I don't like the way that punching works. And as you've seen, the punching isn't the biggest problem that I've got playing this game, but. Going back to oh, dickhead. I just can't get off that. So I lose a bit of life fighting this guy because I can't punch at the right time. Right, so, so, okay. I lose life there. Okay. Out of this stupid place again now. There we go. Well, I lost a bit of life there because I can't punch at the right speed. Oh! Um, I died there because I wasn't paying attention. It's very quiet. Oh, okay. See, so the problem is I have them turn down when they're really loud but then when I start other games they come up at the turn down volume so I can I'm always changing the volume <laughs> oh. 
Ugh. Well, what have we got this way? Let's have a look. Right, we can only go this right. There aren't any choices, are there? So. Do have to go this way. Surely this is this has got to be no. Push it then instead, do we? We must push it. Right, how do we do that? Not like that. <sighs> Why is it not pushable? <coughs> oh, I'm certain that that needs to move that direction. Don't, I've only got a hit. I don't have a... Oh, I can't hit while I'm crouching. And... My long press was used for sen setting bums. Bombs. When you... Yeah, so... When I'm crouched down, I can use my punch button to cycle through things, but they're all at zero now because I've used them all. Um, but they are different options for the long push on, on my fire button. Uh, sorry, on my jump button. So I'm wondering if I needed to have picked something up. Thing is, I can't get back up, up there now. So we're kind of a bit stuck now. it sparky when I hit it can't hit it from there jump to the left no there's no way I can make that jump 
and it doesn't lead anywhere. I mean, I admit, it's probably something I've done. But the game shouldn't be so stupid that it traps you. quick look and make sure all my controls are set right and they are that's a shame you can't blame the game for your failings um i think i've done a pretty good job for the past 61 episodes don't you well there you go that was Asterix and the Great Rescue on the Master System. And do you know what? Just for you Master System fans, we're going to do one more, one more Master System game. And this one is called Asterix and the Secret Mission. It is. And then we're going to move on to, um, especially for Nutty Cluster, we're going to move on to a Mega Drive version. Later, in a minute. Depends how pissy this game is. Oh, look. Oh, you can't, can't, oh, Obelix can bash him with his head, but Asterix can't. Oh, it takes a long time to punch every time he punches. But he has quite useful punches. Fair dues, I don't dislike his punch, he just takes too long. What's the rain? Is that going to hurt me? It's not. Right, how am I going to get to it? Like that. Can't push it any further. Can I go up there? No, does not like it. Oh, we, what? Why can't I stand on that stone, eh? There we go.
Uh, can't make that jump unless you're concentrating. If you stop moving, the water drags you down. I missed all the fish on my first time and now they get all getting me. to choose to jump that time. Oh! Well, it just pushed me off the freaking water. Quite distracted having your phone ringing. <laughs> I suddenly, suddenly playing even worse than I did previously. moves in different directions. Let me just get off here. Thank goodness. Right, so now what we're doing? Am I supposed to get up and over or down? Well, I can't get up there. Oh, can I? Maybe I can't. Oh, but I can't. Oh. I'm not going to get that, am I now? Three. 
Yeah. What are we gonna do here? Yeah, how am I supposed to get to that? Let's have a bit of Obelix and then... Uh... that dangling sock oh now what don't actually know what happened there Nope. Uh, jump didn't want to work. Oh, what? 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 What happened? Well, that wasn't fair. I bounced off him. <sighs> Tried jumping over it that time. That's the end of our master system shenanigans. Um, we're going to move on to our final two games now. And uh, we're going to do some Mega Drive, yes, with uh, Asterix and the Power of the Gods. Yes. So, let's see how that looks on the screen. Sega! Oh. Kettle, but feel we'll probably be in a similar sort of situation.
Keeping up so far, good. Surely, if we just press start, If we press start a lot, yeah, okay, so yeah, just keep pressing start. Um, so now we have the Gaulish Forest. Oh, look at that. We jump and we punch things. Showing me dying, like where am I? So we need to uh, be careful then. You'll notice I'm no longer path. Oh, 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 as soon as I said it, I saw a path appear. Oh, fucking hell, again. It doesn't... You don't die very quick, do you? <sighs> Stupid game. Tiny paths and big paths. Okay. Go. Oh, I, I don't have the chance to get the jump going. I think I'm supposed to land on a log. What a bag of shit! Oh, excuse me one second. I've got really bad earache. We'll get through it. Let's see. Is there a continue? No, there's not a continue. We have to, don't say we have to listen to the whole story again. That would be bad. Hey, got some firm presses of... Um, Let's try, let's not try the woods then, let's try um, a camp as Obelix. We've got to go this way? No, that's leave. Naughty game. Okay, a suspect belly bounce. Can't push that.
Why can't I grab the lever? Come on. Well, that's annoying, isn't it? Can't jump on it. Ooh. Not just tall enough to make it. Oh, that's so irritating. And it looks like I'm, you know, why can't I get on that? Does look like a lever nutty cluster, but I can't do anything with it. Maybe this is an asterisk thing. How did I change? There we go. No, it was telling me to leave even as asterisks. See, box, box, needed box earlier. How can I? That's only jump. He doesn't he doesn't touch that lever. There's gotta be something here. Gotta be able to pick it up. Why can't we pick it up? Down doesn't do anything. Is it because I'm getting tired? Is that what it is? That none of this is making any sense. Oh, should I have put it down gently? It's freaking gone now. Okay.
Oh well. That was Asterix, Power of the Gods. As we move on to our last game of the evening, and it's going to be um, on the PSP. Um, and it's going to be uh, an Asterix game, believe it or not. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, no, it is. It is. And it's going to be called um, Asterix and Obelix XXL2 Mission Y Fix. Uh, you have as much idea as I do. And I'm starting to wish I'd closed the window. Oh, okay. Sorry, let's turn it up a tiny bit. All right, let's see what we've got here then. have a difficulty option. Uh. Wow, we're loading bar. What's going on? Pretty it all looks. Zeus get a fix. What's going on? Calm down, such a fuss. We're waiting for Batamix. I'm afraid he's late. Batamix. He's here. Please forgive my tardiness, my friend. I left the ring on under a cauldron. How are you? Right the sunlight, but we'll be even righter when get the... Uh, I will come to the point. You all know of Caesar's plans to conquer the Gaulish village. <clears throat> my village. Not news, huh? Well, I believe he's a druid's whisker away from succeeding. A hey, Zeus. Bye, Belanos. My Odin. Oh, bye, bye. What waffle you get, I think? Thanks to your potions and give superhuman strength to your warriors, your village needn't fear the Romans. To overcome your village, Caesar would need to give his legions a power even more greater than yours. And I don't know of anybody who could harness such a great power. Except us, of course. Precisely. Bravo! Encore! It's your room, as we say in Rome. <laughs> Marvelous, dear fellow. A fine brace of druids. They are yours, noble Caesar. Make good use of them. Count on me, get a fix. Take them away! What's going on? What? Get a fix? A traitor? Who are you to talk about our druid like that? My name is Sam Schiffer, Gaul, and I should know a traitor when I see one. I'm a traitor myself. Traitor to Rome. I'll not betray treachery till treason has reason of Caesar. Pretty, but I didn't understand a word of what he said, Asterix. So you have the gall to come to our village, to slander our druid without evidence? And what's more, you even admit to being a traitor? Yes, well, I'm on your side now, Gaul. Let him finish his story, Asterix. It's true that Getafix has been a bit odd lately. You know, last week, 
He didn't even want to give me any magic potion. But he doesn't ever give you magic potion, Obelix. You fell in the cauldron when you was little. And that doesn't make <laughs> I was waiting for you to say something. But yes. That comes back yes. Right on the play, on the... Just like the thief. PSP. Asterix is Welsh. Got evidence. Get a fix's golden sickle. By Tutatis. If Getafix was here, I'm sure he could give us an explanation of this whole story. But Belenos alone knows where he is now. He's in Las Vegas. What's that, Las Vegas? Las Vegas, located in the heart of Rome, this city of luxury and pleasure is dedicated to the pursuit of sporting entertainment. Oh, we can't sit and watch all this. No matter how well she is. is round-the-clock gladiator combat to the goriest death. It's skimpily clad slaves fed to hungry lions seven days a week. But Las Vegas is above all a unique welcome and a festival atmosphere every day of the week in a fairy tale setting. Cross the romantic hills of Letitia as if you were really there. Laugh out loud with the joyful antics of Pirate Island and spend an unforgettable night in the pure opulence of Caesar's Palace. Las Vegas, the Roman holiday you'll never forget. Opening soon. A Jules Caesar production. A city for games? These Romans are crazy. Asterix, you and Obelix are going to Rome. It's the only way to discover why Getafix has betrayed us. To discover if he betrayed us by the statistics. Oh, yes. That's what I was going to say. I'll come with you, Gold. Stay well away from us, Sam Schiffer. This whole thing stinks of a trap. But we have no choice. Right, oh, let's go, Obelix. Right. Oh, can I use it? No, I can't. I was going to say, can I use the um, other joystick? But the analog stick is what I was trying to say. Oh, here we go. We have to move the camera around. See, we can't get close to this guy then. percent sure what we should be doing. We'll just hit some Romans, shall we? Wow, it looks like we're hitting them so hard that their legs have been left behind. What should we do, Asterix? Should I knock? No, Obelix, you'll break it. Well, yes, of course. Psst. Look, Asterix. It's our friend the traitor. You can't get in through the main door, Goals. The park isn't open to the public yet. But I know a secret entrance. There. Behind that block. Over to you, Obelix. Hold this, please, traitor. <laughs> Let's go, Obelix. We wait for you, Sam Schiffer. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll catch you up. <laughs> This is why it's loading a load of data in it.
stamp button twice. Thanks. Oh. I fold off. Behind this door lies the heart of Las Vegas. But to enter, you will need to find a way to open this door, which is locked by an ultra-modern security system. You see the four torches. At the moment, they're all out. But as soon as they are lit, da -da -da, the door will open. It's a bit strange. This system was developed by a green leprechaun. It is said to be an infallible security system. And how do we light these pesky torches? Reach each of the torches' twins in this room. Bash the torch a bit and presto, light will burst through the darkness. I'll open the first room and I'll wait for you there. <laughs> Ow, oh, didn't even hurt. Oh. Know how to fight, guys? Because now's the moment to prove it. Look on this door. It won't open until you've eliminated the number of Romans that is indicated on it. Easy peasy, eh? To bash a Roman, press action. If you eat, we'll see that later. Ah, where are the Romans? Behind you! Look out! <laughs> and well taught. Can't get past these. Oh no. <laughs>
Am I doing something wrong? Here? I was thinking it was probably scratched as us well. So, um, oh. oh, look at that. Scratched. It's scratched. Uh, so much story. So much story. Whew. Right. Well, look what we have here. Yes, it's that time of night. Where we um, spin the wheel and see what we'll be playing next week. It's time for the real, real wheel deal. Oh, okay. Right, it's been a while since we've done a same game, different system. But next week, we're going to take a deep dive, or as deep as we can stand, uh, a deep dive of Dig Dug. Um, a game that I enjoy playing in the arcade. I have fond memories of playing that in the arcade. Uh, and we're going to look at all the systems that have got a version of it, that I have a ROM for, and we're going to play them. How's about that? Wow. Okay, cool. Let's go back to the goodbye screen. A deep dig dug dive. A dig deep dive dug. Something like that, yes. One of those things. Um, okay, well, well, that's it for this evening. I hope you've enjoyed all the asterisks of it all. And uh, maybe inspired you to crack up in an asterisk game and have a play. Or maybe not. Um, so... Thank you, everybody, for watching live on Twitch on a Monday at 7 o'clock. Uh, thank you if you're watching this on YouTube, because there's an edited version. For you Twitch watchers, there's an edited version on YouTube. You can email us. Yeah, look. Well, it's there. Retro at snugradio.co.uk. Retro at snugradio.co.uk. That's also the website, snugradio.co.uk. We're also available on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and if you really, really want to chat, we have a Discord server. The Discord server will be below this video somewhere, wherever you're watching it. I'm going to put a link to the Discord server. Come along and have a chat. Yeah. Um, big thank you to Nutty Cluster for uh, being with me this evening and um, moderating the chat room from the depths of moderator land. And that's about it. We'll... Um, We'll be back for some Dig Dug at the same time, same place next week. Until then, I've been Math. This has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Play something retro. Thank you. Goodbye.